day, viewers. Welcome to Learn City. My name is Mr. Rilua Kwalumi, and I am a physics tutor. The topic we are treating today is measurements of mass, weight, length, and time. Now, what is the meaning of measurement? Measurement is the process of observing and recording the observations that are collected as a part of a research effort. To get the exact measurement of an object, we make use of tools used in the fields of science, especially in physics, called measuring instruments. Examples of such instruments are chemical balance, string balance, meter rule, caliper, micrometer screw gauge, clock, thermometer, and so on. Now, onto the measurement of mass. What is mass? Mass is the quantity of matter contained in a body. The instrument used in measuring mass is a chemical or beam balance. Mass is a scalar quantity and is measured in kilogram. One thing you should also know is that mass is a fundamental quantity and is constant from place to place. Now, onto the measurement of weight. What is weight? Weight is the ass pull on a body or the downward force produced when a mass is in a gravitational field. The instrument used in measuring weight is spring balance. Weight is a vector quantity and is measured in Newton. Weight is also a derived quantity and varies from place to place. Now, the relationship between mass and weight is cordial and very, very simple. Weight, which is measured or which is represented with W and measured in Newton, is equal to mg. M, which is standing for mass, measured in kilogram, and G, which is standing for acceleration due to gravity, which is measured in meter per second square. Now, onto the measurement of length. What is length? Length is the measurement or extent of matter from end to end. Length is simply the distance extended. Length is a fundamental quantity and is measured in meters. Length can be measured using a tape rule a meter rule, a caliper, a vernier caliper, or a micrometer screw gauge. Now, onto the measurements of time. What is time? Time can be defined as the interval between events. It is a fundamental quantity and time is measured in seconds. Time can be measured using a stopwatch or a stop clock. Now, the next thing we are going to is fundamental and derived quantities. What are fundamental quantities? Fundamental quantities are the basic quantities that are independent of others. They are length, mass, and time. Other examples are electric current, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity, and so on. Direct quantities, on the other hand, are those obtained by simple combination of basic quantities. Examples of direct quantities are area, volume, density, velocity, acceleration, force, energy, work, power, momentum, pressure, electric charge, and so on. So here in the table, talking about fundamental and derived quantities, the derivations, the dimensions, and the units in which they are measured or recorded. First up here, we have area. The derivation of, of, of area is length and breadth, and the dimension is L squared. Area is measured in units. For volume, the derivation of volume is length times breadth times height, and the dimension is L cube, and the unit is M cube. For density, the derivation is mass divided by volume. Since volume is L cube, mass can be represented with M. So the dimension for density is ML raised to power minus three. And it is measured in kilogram per meter square. The next up is speed or velocity. And the derivation or formula for speed or velocity is distance divided by time. The dimension is therefore LT raised to power minus one and speed of velocity is measured in meter per seconds. Next up is acceleration, and the derivation of acceleration, or the formula of acceleration, is change in velocity over time, or known as, or, or, or better still, we say, we say change in velocity divided by time. The dimension for acceleration would therefore be Lt raised to power minus two, and, uh, and acceleration is measured in meter per second square. Next up, we have force. What is the formula of force? 
Or what is force itself? Force is the push or pull of a body. The push or pull exerted on a body. Simply put, the dimension, or let's say the derivation and formula of force is mass times acceleration. Why the dimension is ml c raised to power minus two, and force is measured in Newton. Next up, we have weight. I have described weight earlier, and the derivation or formula for weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity. Therefore, the dimension will be mlt raised to power minus two, and weight is also measured in Newton. We have momentum. The derivation of momentum or the formula of momentum is mass times velocity. Since we've gotten mass earlier and we've gotten velocity earlier, so combining the two, we have mlt raised to power minus one, and uh, and, uh, and momentum is, is, is measured in kilogram per met in kilogram meter per seconds. Next, we have momentum, and the derivation of momentum is mass times velocity. Since we've gotten mass earlier, and we've gotten velocity earlier, so combining the two will give us the dimension of momentum. So the dimension of momentum is mlt raised to power minus one, and momentum is measured in kilogram meter per second. Next up, we have pressure, and the derivation of formula for pressure is force times time. So therefore, the dimension of, of, of pressure would therefore be mlt raised to power minus one, and pressure is measured in newtons per second. Next up, we have impulse, which is the product of force and time, and the dimension will be mlt raised to power minus one. Impulse is measured in newton per second. We have pressure, and the, 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 the derivation of pressure is force over area, or force divided by area. I haven't gotten force earlier and area too. We combine the two and get the dimension to be m l raised to power minus one and t raised to power minus two. So combining everything together, we have m l raised to power minus one, t raised to power minus two. And pressure is measured in Pascal or Newton per meter square. Next up, we have energy or work. And the derivation of energy or work is force times distance. So the dimension will therefore be ml square c raised to power minus two. And energy or work is measured in joule or Newton meter. And the last one here, we have power, which is the ability or capability to do work. The derivation for power is work over time, and the dimension is ml square c raised to power minus one. And power is measured in Newton meter per second. So we've come to the end of the teaching, and I have some questions for you as an assignment. These are questions you can solve at your leisure time. The first one is calculate the weight of an object of mass 500 gram. If g, acceleration due to gravity, is 10 meter per second square. Question two says, list five instruments for measuring length. Question three says, the reading accuracy of a meter rule is a, 0.01 centimeter, b, 0.1 centimeter, c, 10.005 centimeter, d, 0.004 centimeter. Question four says, the best instruments used for measuring the diameter of a thin wire is A, vernier caliper, B, steel rule, C, micrometer screw gauge, D, meter rule. Question five says, the SI units of weight is what? A, N, Newton, B, M, meter, C, meter per second square, D, kilogram, which is kg. And the last question says, distinguish between fundamental and derived quantities. Thank you for watching. Bye.